Hello and welcome back to Nerd News Today. I'm Matthew and on this episode we're taking a look at a new statue from Diamond Select as part of their Marvel Gallery Diorama series. And this one is a first on my channel because this is actually the first time I've looked at any statues in the Game Reverse series. And this particular piece is one from a really really awesome game. If you guys haven't played it yet, definitely recommend you do because wow it's a lot of fun. Today we're looking at the Miles Morales Spider-Man from the game with basically the same name. Just swap them around. It's like, yeah, but whatever. You guys know. You already know what I'm talking about. This rather compact looking statue is I think a very much needed entry into the collectibles of the Spider-Man universe because uh, it really fills a lot of gaps and you know just without even taking this guy out of package I can already say I'm pretty impressed by this so I'm hoping that it'll stay that way once he is removed from this box. But speaking of let's talk about this box first. And the packaging is the same as pretty much any Diamond Select PVC figure diorama you've bought ever. In the case of this statue it's pretty much packaged in a cube, very very symmetrical cube. And you can see almost even sized windows on the front as well as on the left and the right of it. So you get a really great look at a lot of what the statue is going to look like once you do open it up. The color scheme is predominantly black with a little bit of red fractured highlights which is very reminiscent of the game and also even the animated movie. The back of the box has a very nice bio all about Miles Morales and Spider-Man telling you a little bit about who he is, his powers. I think it's a pretty top-notch bio. And underneath it it lets us know that this piece was designed by Caesar and sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios. So with that said, let's keep this intro just as compact as this packaging is right here. Let's go ahead and get our Miles Morales Spider-Man statue out of the box and take a closer look at it from all angles. All right, and here is our Miles Morales Spider-Man statue out of the packaging. Let's take a closer look at this guy, starting, I guess, with the likeness here, although, you know, we can't really talk about likeness much because it is just, after all, a dude in a mask. But, well, I guess the question is, do we like how this dude in a mask looks? And, you know, I would have to say, yeah. You know, this thing is pretty striking, though. You know, overall... And I'm kind of jumping around here as we begin. But this black and red color scheme here, it really pops out quite a great deal, surprisingly. And as we spend a little bit of time just kind of watching this head rotate a little bit, you guys will see, I mean, this is very striking. And so, you know, as far as likeness goes, I mean, yes, it looks like a guy in a Spider-Man mask, but it looks really cool. And it's not just your typical guy in a Spider-Man mask. You know, the fact is, there's actually some great deal of texture on his head, which hopefully you guys can see with this lighting here. There's some nice texture on it. And also, like, these lines are not just painted on his head. These are, in fact, indents on his head, which add a lot more depth to the piece, which is very nice looking. So, yeah, as far as likeness goes, yes, this is definitely a guy in a Spider-Man costume, but it looks like an awesome Spidey. I mean, this is a pretty spectacular Spider-Man, and that's, that's a pun that was very much intended. I didn't know I was saying it until after I said it. So, yeah, let's talk now about the rest of the costume here, because, man, this thing is really great, too. I mean, the paint job of this thing is wonderful. That's really the first thing that stands out to me when I look at this piece here is this amazing paint job on him. So let's take a closer look at that. And again, you guys can see on top of that like shiny red that's on here. Like I love when Diamond does metallics because they really pop out. I mean, look at how bright this red is, how shiny this is. This is like a brand new car kind of color. This is like chrome red. It's really wonderful looking. And this black finish as well, you know, that's no slouch either. I mean, this is, it's pretty dark, but it's also very reflective. So we're getting a lot of dimension and depth with that because black can be a color that flattens things out very much. And depending on what is next to it or how it's treated can also very much affect how it looks. But, you know, I think a lot of the fact that this has so many indentations that this is more like armor and not just like a piece of spandex, we're getting more depth, more places for the shadow and the light to go. Uh, and that adds a lot more to this piece here. And likewise, as we kind of pan down a little bit, we'll talk about his legs here. Uh, you know, again, the legs are predominantly black. But because of all the different indents, you know, it really helps this thing kind of get more places for your eye to go and for more places to light to go. I mean, otherwise, you know, we'd be looking at this and it'd be pretty boring because there's not really much to say about just plain all black. But luckily here, there is a lot going on. There's a lot of dimension. Even this nice red, his, his bottom of his feet here, those look really nice. Um, you know, you, can guys, you guys can see that it's not just plain and simple. Although, you know, I should say as far as those uh, patterns I mentioned earlier that were kind of in his head here, which you can see now, you know, this nice texture up here in his shoulders. Uh, it's basically missing from the rest of the piece, unfortunately, but, you know, still the fact is the way he's posed, it still is very dynamic for how light can hit it. So, you know, we have this high point over here, it's going to attract light, and that means then everything underneath them will kind of be a little more receded in the darkness. Same as we look on this side here, I mean, you guys can see, no matter how you light this, there's going to be ways for different parts of it to look darker than others. They're going to always, something's going to always basically recede into the background a little bit, and that's just because the very fascinating pose that this Spider-Man statue is in, which is very unique you know like when i think of spidey statues usually it's him swinging or him perched somewhere this one's really cool because he's not necessarily swinging he's kind of just jumping around i mean we got some cool stuff going on here too we have one of his bioelectric venom uh, blasts coming out of his hand here like that's all charged up ready to go we have this very nice looking base down here too uh which you know let's talk about that base for a little bit here you know bases are normally one of those things i'm all about with diamond pieces this one here not a lot going on it's mostly just this and his spider symbol on the bottom here so not necessarily the most exciting, but it does the job. 
And that job, honestly, here is to actually kind of help your eye move around the rest of this piece here. So, uh, you know, I want to move out for a minute. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to tilt the camera up for a second. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about when I say that. So bear with me for a second as I move this around here. But I want to get a little more of a top view. So, you know, you guys can see here that this base it's very much just pointing outward. It's this big color splotch, basically. That's really what it's here, it's here to do. It's, it's basically here to be a color splotch to help you stand up against this black. It's very, very dark black and this really crimson red that's here. So as we pull out, though, we kind of see what the effect is that they're going for here. And that is one to ground the piece into something, but also help your eye move around and helps contain it. Because, you know, I always talk about lines and where they go in the pieces. And this is a piece where the lines are all going basically to match to, let's say, you know, at this point, it's going to bring you up to his finger. That point's going to bring you up to that hand. So it all essentially is going to help contain you in this piece. And the fact that his legs are doing this very interesting shape, too, it really holds it all together in a piece that otherwise would be just kind of like a crazy mess. You know, if you really look at it, it's just like such an odd pose, but it's presented really beautifully, very elegant as well. Uh, you know, there's a lot of elegance in this pose as much as there is ferocity and him seemingly being in a battle. There's really a lot going on in such a small package, and that's what I find really attractive about this particular piece. And since I am up a little high again, let's just show you guys, you know, you guys can hopefully see it. Uh, but there is, you know, the spider logo underneath it, which, yeah, is a little hard to see because it's covered up. You can get a better look at it from this angle. Um, but that's what's behind it. This is underneath a little burst of transparent plastic there. Looks really nice, though. Very nice piece overall. I realized I didn't really talk much about the back of his outfit entirely yet, because I didn't really even mention this awesome-looking Spider-Man logo that's there, too. I mean, that's really nice. And again, the way this is all going, it's such a strong pose, but also very kind of, again, to use the word elegant. It's very dancerly. Uh, you know, it's one of those words I think I used a lot on this channel. And I think it's an important word for statues and for statue collectors to be comfortable using, because it's not going to always be about someone smashing just something being action-packed. Sometimes the action comes just basically the human form and the dynamics of how it works. Form and function, folks. Uh, that's my art lecture for today. Feel free to support me on Patreon if you want to hear more of that. And just to let you guys know, too, this is a fairly small piece. So start to finish, it's just about six inches tall. So that's very compact, and I like it being this size. I mean, I've looked at other statues from Diamond. They can be anywhere from 10 inches to 12 inches, and sometimes more. Um, but, you know, in the case of this guy, it's pretty compact. And I actually appreciate the fact that it is kind of on the smaller side because... Well, to be quite honest, sometimes these statues can get pretty big, pretty unruly, you don't know where to put them. But this guy is kind of the perfect size to put really anywhere you want to put him. You want to put him on your desk, you want to put him on a shelf behind you, you want to put him pretty much anywhere. He's going to fit, he's going to look really nice too. And fact of the matter is, these colors pop too, the red and the black looks really good. He might blend into some places if you don't light him up very nicely, but that said, if you do put some lights on him, he's going to really shine and really glow in a way that I can't really show you guys here, but trust me, this piece is going to look even better if you light it up the right way within your display. So, yeah, that is pretty much my thoughts on this really cool Spider-Man Miles Morales statue from Diamond Select. This is honestly a real fan favorite here. You know, like, I've been talking on this channel for a while about looking for a good Spidey statue. And I think this could be actually the one that I want to use as, like, my main Spider-Man. Reason being, it just looks so striking. Uh, it is very shiny, as you can see, also. A lot going on. I really, really like this pose a lot. I like just how action-packed it is and how much is going on here. It's kind of just, for me, perfect in so many of the ways that I'm looking for with a Spider-Man piece. It really does the job, nails it completely. Very complex, you know, surprisingly complex piece in just such a tiny package. It's great. I like that about it. I like it so much. And I love the big statues, too. Don't get me wrong, you guys. But sometimes good things come in smaller packages. And this is one of those instances where a great thing is coming in that kind of a size. So, yeah, if you guys want to pick the statue up for yourself, go ahead and check out my Amazon affiliate links in the description down below going to have places you can buy it and if you do use our amazon links it helps support us at no extra cost to you until next time i'm matthew this has been our look at the spider-man miles morales statue marvel gallery statue from diamond select and i give it a very high recommendation i think you'll not be disappointed by it pretty sure you're going to like it as much as i am and hey if you do or don't like it let me know in the comments below feel free to sound off and let me know what you think is the best spidey statue on the market right now within a 60 dollar price range so I'm Matthew, this has been Nerd News Today, we'll see you guys here next time.